Not only conspiracy theorists, but many credible financial professionals and respected journalists believe that some of the world's wealthiest people, with fortunes much exceeding those of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, live in the oil-rich countries of the Middle East. And many claim that there is a specific European family that is the richest of all time. They're of course alluding to the Rothschilds, a Jewish banking dynasty from the 1700s that possessed roughly half of all wealth in the world at one point in history. The Rothschilds were not always surrounded by luxury and money. Their narrative begins in medieval times when they resided in the Jewish ghetto of Frankfurt, Germany. The family name derives from their ancestral home and houses were denoted by symbols above the door rather than numbers. The Crown Prince Wilhelm of Hesse employed the Rothschild patriarch Mayor Amschel Rothschild in 1769. When the young prince took power in 1785, he chose Mayor as a court Jew to oversee his kingdom's finances. While such a position would be immensely offensive today, it was one of the highest honors a Jewish person could have in a Catholic-dominated Europe at the time. Every affluent aristocrat had a court Jew who was in charge of their finances. While most aristocrats had the moral compass of a drunken ape in a brothel, they needed to maintain their God-obeying appearance or risk losing not only the respect of their peers, but also their lands and wealth. Many Jews, including the Rothschilds, saw this as an opportunity to amass huge fortunes. Mayer was able to create a bank and send his son Nathan to London with the money he earned, which also aided in transferring Wilhelm's fortune to London during the Napoleonic Wars and even sponsoring the British in their struggle. Following the Napoleonic Wars, Mayer's other four sons created new banks in Paris, Naples and Vienna primarily assisting aristocracy in financial need. In times of war or when entire countries were on the point of bankruptcy, they lent vast sums of money to countries where they had financial capital in the exchange for generous interest. So it turned out that the Rothschilds were supporting and profiting from every conflict in Europe during the 19th century, and trust me, there were enough of them. In my humble opinion, financing both sides in a fight that causes devastation and misery is not the definition of ethical, but no one can deny that today, the Rothschild's great fortune is the subject of as many myths as there are stars in the sky. According to some sources, the wealthiest family owns approximately 500 trillion US dollars which is not only difficult to believe but also practically impossible because the total world capital is estimated to be between 1 and 2 quadrillions, so a family controlling a quarter to a half of the total world capital is insane. Most estimates believe their wealth to be between $500 billion and $1 trillion, which is roughly 2 to 4 times that of the next wealthiest man, Elon Musk. Although their banks have been the principal source of the Rothschild's income throughout the years, they have also diversified into mining, transportation, real estate, art, and stocks. They have a minority stake in the Suez Canal, and rumor has it that they own 30% of all major banks worldwide. If you're loving the video so far, do me a solid and smash that like button to help the YouTube algorithm rank it faster. The Rothschilds' lifestyle is steeped in mystery. They are excellent at concealing both their true fortune, which could be larger than the entire southern hemisphere, and their personal lives. Nonetheless, we get a glimpse of their lavish lifestyle behind closed doors from time to time. Unlike many celebrities, Rothschilds do not waste their money on flashy and expensive objects with little financial value. Most of their purchases serve only one purpose to bring them greater money over time. They have a large art collection and are one of the major contributors to art museums globally. Around 3,500 works of art were taken from the Rothschild's estates as Hitler himself came to take his pick from the prized possessions after the war. The majority of the artwork was recovered, although some remain undiscovered to this day. 
The Rothschilds are likely the world's largest gold owners. They not only possess gold, but also have stakes in gold mines. They don't have gold automobiles or AK-47s like some wealthy narco bosses' children, but they do have tons and tons of gold bars. Recently, Jacob Rothschild converted huge quantities of British pounds and US dollars for gold, which many financial analysts see as concerning for Western economies. Presently, around 8% of Jacob's assets are in gold. The Rothschilds have one of the most enormous real estate portfolios in the world, with palaces, estates, chateaus, and villas ranging from the United States to Israel. In Buckinghamshire alone, they have around 13 opulent manors, each worth well over $10 million. The family is thought to own $20 to $25 billion in real estate around the world. They just sold a piece of property in Austria the size of Manhattan for a cool $112 million. Of course, some luxury purchases aren't exactly investments. For example, Nat Rothschild purchased a super yacht for more than $100 million. The Planet 9, as the yacht is known, can accommodate 16 guests and a crew of 26 people. The big ship is propelled at up to 16 knots by two Caterpillar engines. The yacht also includes a helicopter deck where guests can arrive and depart as they wish. Nat is also the proud owner of an ultra-expensive deluxe private jet worth more than $60 million. The Bombardier Global 6000 is one of the priciest planes on the market and can accommodate up to 14 passengers in an ultra-luxurious setting. Nat's purchases, on the other hand, pale in comparison to his extravagant great-grand-uncle's acquisitions. With his enthusiasm for biology, Walter Rothschild spent a fortune on exotic animals such as a big tortoise, hundreds of birds, and even zebras. Three zebras were trained by the eccentric billionaire to draw his carriage around London. Walter amassed the largest collection of specimens ever seen in the world. In his later years, he sold his bird collection to the American Museum of National History in New York. The remainder of his incredible collection was donated to the National History Museum after his death. I'm not sure what happened to the zebras, but I'm guessing they died of humiliation long before Walter. The Rothschilds are well known for instigating conspiracies. As early as the 18th century, their vast wealth was responsible for numerous anti-Semitic myths such as how Jews controlled the world's money, the family's association with the Illuminati, the New World Order, the five-dimensional lizards ruled the world, and dozens upon dozens of other insane theories. In actuality, the Rothschilds are just a large family of wealthy people who choose to live their opulent lifestyles in private rather than face public scrutiny. Let's keep the conversation going with another video.